Hey, what's up everybody? Really excited to be going down to Southern California uh, to check out some of the tile work down there, specifically at the Disneyland Resort. So we're gonna go catch our gate. We board here in about five minutes. All right, we're about to take off. See you guys in Long Beach. Easy flight. Long Beach is a nice little easy airport too. It's about 30 minutes from the park. So Uber's picking us up and we're going to Disneyland. I'm overlooking downtown Disney here from our hotel room. We're staying at the Grand Californian and got this sweet view from the balcony. It's, it's been awesome, love this hotel room. There's something in here in the shower that I, I'm excited to show you, I'll get to that. Uh, but um, yeah, today's been awesome. Marissa and I, so we're here alone, just Marissa and I, uh, without kids for the very first time. We're actually celebrating 25 years of marriage uh, this week, and what a what an awesome time it's been just for me and her to go pal around and be kind of carefree. Uh, we just got back from the spa, a beautiful spa at the Grand Cal California here. Uh, I did check out the tile work in there. They had, they had this unique, right right when you walk in the spa, they what they did is they, it looks like they cut little logs. They look like little oak logs that are cut probably like an inch thick or whatever. And they're set down and they made the floor kind of out of a mosaic of like little eight to 10 inch, you know, there's some smaller like four inch little round pieces of oak wood to give it like a really, really natural kind of woodsy vibe. The spa room itself had a really nice steam room. They used these little tiny mosaics. I couldn't really get any good video of the steam room because it was just all steam. They had these cool quarter rounds, really cool glass quarter rounds. They're like a gold color. And they had that trimming out all the tile in the steam room. Uh, little, these little 5 eighths mosaics, little porcelain, uh, for the shower floor and then they put that on the ceiling too. One thing I did know about the steam shower ceiling is that it wasn't sloped. It was just a flat ceiling. Get a lot of questions about should you slope your ceiling with a steam shower. So here's a steam shower continual use with no slope on it and that's what I recommend when people ask me. I say don't put slope on your shower. It's not going to really do much and what it usually does is water will drip down to a grout joint and then can trip in one place which is really annoying so I think it's better to have a flat steam shower ceiling so the drips just kind of drip randomly but that's just my take on it but yeah the spa was really neat really relaxing got a great massage couples massage with Marissa and again in the showers there they had uh, ceramic wall tiles craftsman art deco kind of look and a lot of mosaics on the, on the floor uh, the, the tiled grates uh, they had these tileable grates in the in the showers in their curbless showers and I just had to fix them because they were kind of tweaked a little bit to the side and of course that bugged me so I had to fix it. Um, but yeah, it was uh, really nice in the spa. We went out, um, we went and got some ice cream and uh, there's a really neat mosaic that actually I featured in, in the video on California Adventure that I did a couple years ago. Again, I'll put that link down in the description so you can see it but really beautiful handmade mosaic of the Ghirardelli logo. And it's like an eagle, really intricate craftsmanship there. And then the rest of the floor is octagon and dot. And the octagon and dot pattern is a motif. You see quite a bit here at both Disneyland and California Adventure. Most of it's in the smaller size, like at the Toy Story Pier, it's like a custom color of like pinks and blues. And, Really cool, I love the colors. Very, very cool, unique colors. I believe that's a dowel tile and you can probably order it custom if you got a special product, but probably a lot of lead time on that. Uh, so that's a motif, really popular from around the 1920s-ish here in California. So yeah, so the video I did a couple years ago, I did, uh, I did feature the shower, talked a lot about the showers here in the Grand California Hotel, uh, but I wanna show you again because I made a discovery that I want to let you in on, check it out. Um, I did a feature of the shower the last time we stayed here two years ago, talked a lot about the shower, what was going on with it. The couple things that I just want to point out that still stand out to me, they did grout in the corners. There's no silicone caulking. This is typical of how we do 
our grout jobs in California. We do not use silicone or sealant in the changes of plane. We do grout and it's holding up great. To me, it looks much better. It doesn't get moldy and nasty like silicone does. And it just looks like grout. It's the same color, same texture, everything. So I wanna point that out. The other thing is I noticed this linear drain. I noticed the linear drain and I recognized it because if you know, a couple months ago, I did a charity project for Lori, whose house burnt down in the Paradise Fire. So uh, I re was reaching out to companies to donate for the project and Ty already donated a pan to the project and I loved it. The install went out, went great. I loved the pan, loved the install. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. And then, so I was talking to Ty already. They sent me out another pan to try on another job. And so it was the exact same pan with the exact same drain. So when I came in here, I'm like, no way. This is a freaking Tile Ready pan had no idea and then um and i also recognize because it has this skinny curve and uh, so i just uploaded a, a video i just uploaded that video like was that last week i did the pebble i yeah so i did a pebble pan and i think the title of the video is like fastest pebble pan i ever did or something like that and i used this same exact tile ready pan with the linear drain in it and so it's just so cool to like come here and recognize the pan that I put in. So yeah, this is tile ready. It's got the skinny curb on it. It doesn't have one of those big old beefy, obnoxious curbs on it. Beautiful curb. They fasten the heck out of the shower door. They got like these heavy duty wall clamps. They got two on the ceiling, three in the wall, two on the curb, one on the curb here glass to glass hinge and then three more on this little panel and one more up here. So yeah, they really don't want these glass panels to go anywhere. But I thought that was so cool that this was a tile ready pan in the Grand California because I really like the tile ready system. I think it's a great, great system, especially for do-it-yourselfers because it's already waterproof and, and it's waterproof all, all the way up the splash wall to this height. So you don't have to worry about putting any pieces together like bands and corners and everything. It's all one contained unit. And I could also, I could also see how much of an advantage it would be to do in a commercial setting like this where you just have all the pans already made and they just do all these hotel, I mean, because there's probably, how many hotel rooms do you think are here, babe? I mean, there's five floors and like- Six floors. Six floors and probably 200 rooms on each floor. Mm -hmm. So what's that? 1200? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So yeah, so if you had 1200 of these pans already made, ready to go, it would be so much simpler than piecing something together like with a Schluter system or something like that. So uh, yeah, I just, I think the Tile Ready system's great. Um, and I was really stoked that I recognized the pan. You know, I love Tile, I love Tile systems. So I just geek out on that stuff. But um, anyways, um, Marissa and I, again, we're celebrating 25 years of marriage and we have a dinner. What time's our reservation, babe? We gotta get going. <laughs> we gotta get going. We'll let you know how the dinner goes. Come on, let's go. One thing I would definitely recommend while you're at Disneyland is coming to New Orleans Square to the Mint Julep Bar get a nice, tasty, non-alcoholic mint julep. Mm -hmm. So good. But the real prize is the Mickey Vinay. This is my favorite thing to eat at Disneyland or California Country. Mickey Vinay's and they're just littered in powdered sugar. So there's the little cooking. And the powdered sugar will get everywhere. It's all over the floor. It's going to get all in my clothes. So it's so worth it. This is also one of my favorite areas of Disneyland. It's the um, New Orleans Square. You got the Haunted Mansion over here. Really cool Victorian architecture. Reminds me of home, Grass Valley, where I grew up. Most of the town was built in the Gold Rush era. So a lot of the town was built in like the late 1800s and it just reminds me of home, the old Victorians that we have around Grass Valley. And got the train right behind me and 
I like being in the trees. It's just kind of a, a nice place to come. So, but if you come here, make sure you get the Mickey Minnie. All right, so we made it back to Sacramento. It was a great trip, a lot of fun, lots of good food, and most of all, quality time spent with my beautiful wife. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the tile that I showed you. And just thank you for tagging along with us. And I want to thank Alex, who I just met in the airport. I love when you guys stop me to just talk and chat. Alex, good meeting you. And uh, since it's our 25th anniversary, uh, I want to leave you guys with something. Uh, so we got married when I was 21 and Marissa was 20, right? Mm -hmm. So we were young. So and. I wish I knew then a lot of the stuff that I know now. So I want to just leave you guys with a couple tips if you're young and you're married. Marissa, you go first. Remember that you got together for a reason, that you like each other. So take time to have fun together. Awesome. And I would say, as a man, I would, I would, um, I would give the advice to a, to a young man, get to know your partner, get to know your, your woman. Uh, really get to know her not just like the basic things really get to know her how she grew up things that she liked when she was a kid all the little things that make that make them who they are it will help you so much in understanding uh, some of the things that they want to do or their reactions or actions and I think that's been really helpful for me lately it's really getting to know Marissa and just becoming friends so I'll leave you with that and we both love you guys. Thank you for all your support. We'll see you on the next video.